my goodness, uh, we got a lot to talk about today. So let's just try to get into it and summarize what's going on in today's video. General Skywalker kit reveals here today. And my goodness, it lives up to epic confrontation level kit. Very complex, but it's so cool. At the same time, we have a kit reveal for the Arc Trooper, which is going to deploy a turret. We kind of speculated this would happen, and it's coming true. And lastly, it looks like Asajj Ventress is getting a rework. Because as you see back here, she has a brand new stance. So very good chance, as we kind of hoped for. She's going to get a rework as well, probably with the Separatist. So probably expect the Asajj kit reveal maybe in the next couple days. Uh, no confirmation on that yet, but once you see an animation change, that means something's going to happen with the kit re uh, rework. So we have a lot to talk about. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. As we're going to kind of see here, their intention, it seems like, is to make 501st. The meta, everyone was saying, remember, we we're making jokes. Oh, where's the 501st tag? And I said, it's probably going to be General Skywalker. And it looks like they're shooting for a 501st meta. Ladies and gentlemen, even that the Arc Trooper is going to have a 501st tag. But let's not jump ahead. There's so much to talk about. I'm excited. I really hope clones and 501st become a meta because that would have me excited. So funny thing is, this character is going to have a permanent taunt that you can't get rid of, but he's considered an attacker. And from if I understand the kit correctly, you can't take Anakin Skywalker out first. He has to be the last character you take out just by the design of his kit. And when he's taunting, his, his, his allies can't lose any health. That's insane. <laughs> so let's start reading here, guys. Put out the take out your SWGH reading degrees and put your hats on because we have a lot of complicated reading to do today. Furious Slash, and we have a Zeta on the basic. A four Zeta character, by the way. Huge, biggest we've ever had yet. Deal physical damage to a target enemy. This attack can't be evaded and ignores defense. We're going to see a lot of critical hit, uh, ignoring defense, and ignoring defense type of stuff. And those are three big problems that Malik is going to be very concerned about. And if this is the first ability General Skywalker uses during his turn, he immediately uses the special ability Telekinesis, if available. And as you're going to see, Anakin Skywalker, he's going to oftentimes take two attacks in one turn. This guy is no joke. And from the trailer, it looks like he does put out some okay damage. So if you happen to use Telekinesis, this deals physical damage to a target enemy. And if possible, this attack will critically hit enemies with armor shred. And Malik doesn't like critical hits and that's going to be a problem for him and if the target is dazed reduce general skywalker's ability cooldowns by one and this attack ignores defense so uh, two so he uses his basic he's going to ignore defense twice on let's say darth malik and hopefully get a critical hit so uh, again right there already we're already seeing that they're trying to give us tools to handle darth malik a lot better let's keep moving on we're not done yet this is just scratching the surface right here sundering strike cooldown of three right here and i'm wondering if the zeta might maybe the zeta adds the telekinesis part or where he can use a, a special ability right away uh, i don't know they don't tell us exactly what the zeta adds but that's my guess here but sundering strike deals physical damage to a target enemy and inflicts armor shred uh oh the, if they are dazed this attack deals double damage so imagine having armor shred being guaranteed a critical hit on an attack that ignores defense and also deals double damage Yikes, that's a big hit right there. And if this is if this is General Skywalker's uh, first ability that he's using during his turn, he gets to reset the cooldown on Force Grip. So finally, we have kind of like a Force Chokish type of ability, but they're calling it Force Grip here. So he can reduce the cooldowns of this ability right here, deal physical damage to all enemies, and daze them for two turns of mass AoE daze. Oh, that is dangerous. Mass AoE dazes from Wampa, Nest, and Maul. Those are very annoying to deal with, and especially on a powerful character, even more so. And if possible, this attack will critically hit enemies with armor shred. So just get that, that get that armor shred on Malak and just keep spamming Anakin's abilities. He's going to keep landing critical hit after critical hit and after critical hit in between ferocity and the armor shred being calculated with probably his high attack or damage. Malak is going to be whopped left and right, ladies and gentlemen. And if this is the first ability General Skywalker uses during his turn, he gets to reset the cooldown on Sundering Strike. So <laughs> it, there's just so much going on. And depending on what ability you're using, he can do two things at once. Attack, reduce cooldowns, attack, and then attack again. It's crazy what he's doing right here. So that's just the special abilities. We haven't even talked about the leader ability. So first off, there's also Zeta on here. So this is our second Zeta right here. All units can't be revived that's going to be kind of important because if you if there's a revive mechanic in here this would be such a broken character i mean it's already kind of broken but it'd be even more so all five of first allies have plus 50 percent critical damage and what do you know malik hates critical damage so that's going to help you push out even more damage for your team and when an enemy gains a buff all five of first allies get two percent off and stacking until the end of the encounter now darth revan teams aren't really a buff heavy team but this is going to be great for other things jedi knight revan teams they get a lot of buffs well that's going to feed extra damage to anakin's team general grievous gets a lot of buffs that's going to feed more damage to the team so we have to think a bit beyond sith empire because there's other stuff out there while there are other active five of first allies just sit down general skywalker can't drop below 100 percent health aka you have to go take everyone out first 
before you can go to Anakin and he advances. There's two new things. There's something called advance and cover. So let's separate those in a second. Advances if he has 100% protection and takes cover if he has 0% protection at the end of every turn. He removes all other status effects when he takes cover. So he cleanses himself and then he leaves cover and takes a bonus turn when all other 501st allies are defeated. So what's the difference between advance and cover so advance when he has above 100 or 1 protection he's going to taunt which can't be dispelled or prevented there's gonna be a trailer i'm gonna play towards the end of the video that's gonna break down his kit uh and some gameplay and when he's advanced or ak when he's taunting with his perma taunt other 501st allies can't lose health so aoe you can do all the aoe attacks you want but as long as anakin's taunting with advance you're not going to do anything so you have to take out anakin's protection as fast as possible so you can go and pick off the other guys and then when you finally do knock anakin to zero percent protection he's going to go into this state of cover where he can't be targeted he's immune to damage and status effects so you can't even try to chip away at his protection health his speed is set to zero and he recovers 10 percent protection and terminator at the end of every turn ally or foe which can't be prevented snow old ben and mind tricks he, you're, he's gonna boost himself back up and once he gets back to 100 protection he goes back into this advanced state gets a taunt again so really you have to knock out anakin as fast as possible so he gets the cover builds himself back up and while he's under cover you got to take out his allies as fast as possible and if you're not successful he's going to taunt again and all this nasty stuff is going to happen oh that's a mouthful uh hopefully the video will make a bit more sense and obviously we'll get some gameplay hopefully later on this week from the channel here and now we move on into his unique abilities the chosen one. Oh, that just rings in my heart right there. Has a Zeta as well. There's our third Zeta. General Skywalker uses an additional ability during his turn. And I'm guessing that's what the Zeta is going to add. So every time he's using uh, doing something in his turn, he's going to do something else. So he might be doing three layers of stuff in one turn it gets kind of complicated and i'm not gonna lie i don't completely understand it right now until i get my hands on it but i get the general concept of what's going on right here and whenever general skywalker critically hits an enemy during his turn he increases their cooldown by one excluding raid bosses which can't be resisted so oops sorry malik we keep landing those critical hits on you and keep increasing your cooldown sorry thanks for playing with us <laughs> and if he is critically hit general skywalker dispels all debuffs on himself so if you're hitting anakin hard he's going to cleanse himself of everything so self-cleansing is always a powerful mechanic and enemies can't oh geez enemies attacking out of turn can't critically hit so if you call in jedi knight revan he's calling everyone to assist they, they can't critically hit so they're not going to get big damage out there so they're thinking a bit beyond of just darth revan because it seems like they really just want anakin to be the number one thing in the game right now so they're kind of thinking what other problems could have come out come around and if the target enemy has no protection <laughs> Hmm, I wonder who doesn't have any protection. When General Skywalker uses an ability, reduce their current max health by 20% for the rest of the battle. Stacking, excluding raid bosses, which can't be resisted. Game over, Darth Malak. That is a game over because Malak already starts the battle with 0% protection. And Anakin Skywalker is just going to quickly make Malak in the chump change. Wow, talk about a big F you to Darth Malak. And um, his reign is going to come to an end simply because of this ability right here. That is crazy. Jeez, uh, that is crazy. <laughs> I just, wow, I just had to stop and chuckle at that. That is, uh, they're not even trying to cover up. I mean, with these epic confrontation characters, they don't even try to cover up what they're trying to do. This is, a, a, besides all the other stuff against Darth Malak, this is the biggest problem right here. Uh, so that he's anti no protection as well. And lastly, the unique ability hero with no fear fourth Zeta right here at the start of the battle. General Skywalker gains 25% defense, 15% max protection and 25% tenacity for each other 501st ally until all other 501st allies are defeated. So you're going to probably want to have four other 501st allies. So multiply this by four, 100% defense, 60% max protection, 100% tenacity for each other 501st ally. Luckily, they didn't add any critical uh, avoidance because you want him to be critically hit so he can keep cleansing himself. And if all 501st, al if all allies are 501st at the start of the battle, General Skywalker gains the following 100% counter chance. Ouch. Plus 50% <laughs> critical chance. And when all other allies are defeated, General Skywalker can't be critically hit and gains 35% turn meter after every enemy turn. So even when you finally take out all his allies, He's going to just go to town on you. Get so much turn meter. He's going to punish you for taking out his friends. Wow, this kid is crazy. This is a crazy kid, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
I don't know how Sith Empire is going to hold up against this. I mean, normally the Jedi Knight Riven was kind of able to hang around with Darth Riven and Darth Malkin. It was still a struggle. I don't know how it's going to be with Darth Malkin Riven going up against Anakin. Unless the AI is stupid, uh, this is not looking good for Sith Empire users. <laughs> and we have our second key reveal of the Arc Troopers. So I don't know if this is this character is going to be meant for Arena with Anakin Skywalker. Because right now it seems like Ahsoka, uh, Fives, Rex, as well as Echo are probably going to be the other characters we didn't even consider. Uh, the other characters combined of Anakin's kit. I mean, there's a big picture we're not even really touching right now. We, we only have a couple minutes in this video left to, to talk. So the second reveal is coming with the Arc Trooper. Maybe he'll find his way into this arena too. We don't know, but this powerful clone attacker is going to be coming later on, so not right away. We will see him in this epic confrontation event, and he can command a blaster turret on the battlefield and will enable you to field all 501st clone troopers with General Skywalker. Stay tuned uh, to the forums for which update the Arc Trooper will join the holiday Table. so this will be a character we can unlock and use at some point probably going to be a marquee character i'm guessing and this character might be like the genos and brood alpha which you'll need to tackle on the very special missions on the map so uh, keep on the lookout maybe though this will be a free-to-play character on the cantina table for all we know also going to be an attacker with the 501st tag and uh, i'm really excited for this we're going to get a deployable object we were thinking maybe back the tanks or turrets and definitely they're heading towards the turret idea deal physical damage with crossfire to a target enemy and if they had no buffs before this attack deal 30 percent more damage Assign command, cooldown of three, deal physical damage to a target enemy, give command to target other clone ally until they are defeated or until command is granted to a different ally. And then command, what it does is the blaster turrets assist whenever this character uses an ability during their turn. So it's kind of like a Chewbacca guard from how I understand this. So you might want to give this to someone who's fast because the more turns someone takes, the more the, the turret is going to be assisting over and over again. And we have two unique abilities and it looks like we just have one Zeta on here. No four Zetas. Oh man, it's definitely underwhelming. <laughs> I'm just kidding there. Arc Arsenal. Uh, Arc Trooper has 35% counter chance, and Arc Trooper always has command and summons a blaster turret to the ally slot at the start of the encounter and when he is revived. The blaster turret will assist when Arc Trooper attacks out of turn. So this, this uh, turret should be helping out quite a lot. And then finally, we have this unique ability for the blaster turret, and uh, it's going to have its own mini kit. So think of it kind of like the Genos and Brood Alpha kit, but instead of calling it a minion, you're calling it an object. The basic for shattering, uh, the basic for this turret is going to deal true damage to target enemy and dispel all buffs, and that's pretty big. A mass buff to spell that's always good which can't be evaded it's just using his basic over and over again and this these unique abilities they're not really unique they're just telling you uh the conditions of when it's how long it's going to stay around so looking really cool i don't know if this is really uh an arena character it might be great for grand arena and especially the territory battles i see a lot of uh, genos's territory battles we're going to get that in november as they said for the light side uh, other than that i don't know it seems like a fun character i'm excited to test that hopefully it is going to be a free-to-play character like the genos and brood alpha but man that General Skywalker. This is a huge character, and I can't wait to get my hands on it and uh, see what it's all about. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap up with this video right here. I'm going to play this towards the end so you can get kind of a voice guiding you uh, in terms of how the kit works. We get a little bit of gameplay uh, so you guys can hopefully understand the kit a little bit better. And I hopefully... This isn't the final art because this looks very 360p resolution on his face. <laughs> Besides that, that's my only complaint for Anakin Skywalker at this time. Guys, talk to me down below. What do you think of this kit? Is it bonkers? Is it crazy? Is this going to end the Darth Malak and Darth Vader meta? You let me know down below. Like if you did enjoy, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the trailer, everyone. General Skywalker is the steadfast leader of the 501st Battalion. He's a fierce Jedi attacker who protects his allies at all costs. His strength lies in his synergies with his 501st allies, Ahsoka Tano, Rex, Echo, and Fives. His unique ability, Hero with No Fear, provides him massive buffs. For each 501st ally, he gains increased defense, protection, and tenacity. If all allies are 501st, he gets counter chance and critical chance too. General Skywalker's leader ability, General of the 501st, adds phase-based gameplay mechanics to the battle with the introduction of two status effects, Advance and Cover. Advance grants a permanent taunt and prevents 501st allies from losing health. Enemies have no choice but to concentrate their attacks on General Skywalker while his allies attack from safety. However, when General Skywalker's protection reaches zero, he enters a depleted state and can no longer defend his squad. The advance effect is replaced by cover. While taking cover, General Skywalker is immune and can neither attack or be attacked, all the while leaving his allies vulnerable. He slowly regains protection and turn meter in this state. 
When his protection is full, he advances on the enemy once again, safeguarding his 501st allies. To regain the upper hand, the enemy must deal damage to General Skywalker and force him to take cover again. Only when all of General Skywalker's 501st allies are defeated can he too be taken down. General Skywalker's final unique, the Chosen One, provides impressive offensive and defensive perks. Most notably, allowing him to unleash a barrage of abilities each turn. His two special abilities, Sundering Strike and Force Grip, work in tandem. Strike with one, and Skywalker will follow up with the other. The abilities provide different bonus effects based on the order they're used. Sundering Strike inflicts Armor Shred, which guarantees Force Grip to be a critical hit. Force Grip inflicts Daze, which causes Sundering Strike to deal double damage. Choose the right combination, and General Skywalker will tear apart his enemy's defenses. General Skywalker, a tenacious leader and steadfast protector of his allies, is ready for battle on the holotables. Learn more at the Galaxy of Heroes website.